What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna look at adding an animation, a particle effect and a sound to our first person character when we fire our gun. In the previous video I talked about how we can attach arms and guns to our first person characters so if you don't know how to do it you can watch the tutorial. Alright, the first thing we need to do is to choose our firing animation. Go to Mixamo and find the same character we used in the previous tutorial so we can have the same skeletal mesh. And then here find the firing animation. Here I'm gonna decrease the number of frames so it looks faster and looks like a rifle shooting in automatic mode. Download it and then drag it beside your animations and here choose the skeletal mesh we imported earlier. Now open the animation and as you can see we have its preview right here. Now we need to add the sound and the particle effect. Right click here and add a notify and select play sound. Now here you can choose any sound you like for your gun. I'm gonna choose the explosion 02 but if you want you can download better sound effects on the internet and use them instead. Next I'm gonna add another notify and choose particle effect. Here I'm gonna choose the explosion which is not the best particle effect you can use but we don't have any better options in Unreal's starter content. So we have to work with this one. If you want better particles, you can download them from the internet or make them yourself and assign them to the notify. In this tutorial, we only want to learn the process so we don't need to be picky and we can work with what we already have. Okay, now let's play with the location and scale and place it in front of our gun. I don't like the fireball and the smoke so I'm gonna open the particle and disable them in the particle settings. Now as you can see when we play the animation we have the sound and the particle effect and we are good to go. The next step is to connect the animation to our first person character and tell the engine that when we press our left mouse button this animation should be played and when we release the button it should go back to the idle animation. The thing that allows us to control our animations using Blueprint is called an Animation Blueprint. So right click in your content browser and select the Animation Blueprint. Let's name it AnimBP and open it up. It has an event graph which works like the normal blueprints you have already worked with and the animation graph in which you can combine your animations and play them based on the code in the event graph. This is the final pose which is based on the state machine connected to it so here I'm gonna add the state machine and open it up. In this space we can combine our animations and define the different states that we want our character to be in. Here just drag an arrow from the entry node and create a state and name it idle. Then from the idle state drag another arrow and create a new state and name it fire. Now from the gray area in the fire state drag an arrow and connect it to the idle state. What this whole thing means is that when the game is played the animation blueprint will play the idle state. Then if this condition is met, it will go to the fire state and when this condition is met, it will come back from the fire state to the idle state. It's really simple and straightforward and from now on all we need to do is to define these states and conditions. Open the idle state and from the asset browser here, drag the aiming idle animation and plug it in. Then go back to the fire state and plug the firing animation to the output animation pose. Hit compile and now here you can see that the idle animation is being played. When this condition is met, it will go to the firing pose so let's open it up and define it. Here we need a simple boolean which is basically a true or false node and in this case gets the job done. Create it in the variables and name it shoot weapon. Now get shoot weapon and plug it in. 
Now go to the other transition rule and again get the boolean but now we need to reverse it so when it's unchecked the state from the fire transitions to either. Just drag a wire from the boolean and type not boolean and plug it in. Hit compile and now here in the anim preview if you check the variable the firing animation will be played and if you uncheck it it will go back to the idle state. Okay, now we are done with the animation graph and let's assign it to the first person blueprint and see what we have got so far. Open the first person blueprint and having the viewport open, choose the skeletal mesh. In the last tutorial, we assigned a simple animation asset to it, but now we want to replace it with the blueprint we created. So put the animation mode to use animation blueprint and here select the anim BP. Hit compile and now when we play the game, we have our animation blueprint being in the idle state. What we need here is the code that tells the engine when we press the left mouse button, the animation blueprint should go to the firing state and when we release it, it should come back to the idle state. First, we should define an input for the engine, so go to the project settings and open the input window. Here create a new action mapping and name it fire. Then assign the left mouse button to it and you're good to go. Now let's use the input we created in the first person blueprint. Open it up, right click, type fire and add it to the event graph. Now here we want a boolean variable so when the left mouse button is pressed the boolean will be checked and when it's released the boolean gets unchecked. Create a variable here and name it firing weapon. Drag it into the event graph and put it on set and connect the input action fire to it. Duplicate it and connect it to the release output. Now check the first one and uncheck the second one. It basically means that when the button is pressed, the variable will be set on true and when it's released, the variable will be set on false. Hit compile and now the last step is to match this boolean here with the one we have in our animation blueprint. Again, it's a very easy and simple thing to do. Just go to the animation blueprint, drag a wire from the event blueprint update animation, type cast to first person character and add it to the event graph. What this node does is that it basically creates a bridge between the two blueprints we are working with. First one being the first person blueprint and the second one being the animation blueprint. For the object, we need the get player character node and now we want to tell it that it should match the boolean we have here named shoot weapon to the boolean we have in the first person character named firing weapon. So let's get the firing weapon and then set the shoot weapon based on it. Hit compile and now let's play the level. Yeah, everything is good and we have the animation, the sound and the particle effect working perfectly. Here we actually don't have any bullet impact on the environment and it's just an animation with some effects. In the next part, we create the impact of the bullets on the environment and we complete our gun functionality. I hope this was helpful for you and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.